Hey yo, thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to meal prep using sautéed vegetable medley and sweet potato as a base. Let's get going! What's baby? Now, as you can see here, it looks like you'll need quite a few different ingredients. Let's start. Garlic, sweet potato, power greens, so included here is spinach and kale, um, greens like that. Cauliflower, broccoli, fingerling potatoes, purple potatoes, onion, brussels sprouts, celery, and ginger. And for the spices, you'll need oregano, basil, Italian seasoning, olive oil, and Himalayan sea salt. Alright, so the first big step here is you're going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Alright, now we're going to grab two of those two potatoes and put them in the oven for about one hour. Now it's time to chop up that sweet onion. Next up, we're going to drizzle some olive oil into a frying pan and put it on medium heat. And now we're going to add the cut up onions to the frying pan and mix it up. Now add a couple grinds of Himalayan pink salt to the mixture. Now you can add in some Italian seasoning. Time for the basil. And now add in some awesome oregano. Use a grater to grate in some fresh ginger. Now it's time to add some awesome garlic to the mix. I added about five cloves and mix everything up when you're done. Chop up some of those fingerling potatoes. And now we're gonna cut up some of those purple potatoes. And now we're going to add both the fingerling potatoes and the purple potatoes to the mixture and mix it up. Cut up those Brussels sprouts. Now it's time to show that celery who's boss. Cut it up! <laughs> and now we're gonna add both the cut up Brussels sprouts and celery to the mixture and mix it all up. And now we're going to cut up all of that cauliflower. Time to cut up the broccoli. And now we are going to add the power greens mixture to a nice mixing bowl. And next up we're going to add the large mixture we've been sauteing on the oven into the power greens and mix it up. Toss it. Next up we're going to add olive oil, broccoli and cauliflower to a saute pan and keep it on medium heat. And now we're going to add all the spices and seasonings like we did before, so that includes the olive oil, the Himalayan pink salt, 
the basil, the oregano, the Italian seasoning, as well as the garlic and the ginger, and mix it all up. And now, meanwhile, it looks like the street deals are done, so we're gonna take those out and let them cool for a bit. Now, it's a great idea to cut each one in half, it allows them to cool a little bit faster. Mm-hmm, it looks like the broccoli and cauliflower mixture is looking pretty good just about now. It looks like the sweet potatoes are done cooling off, so now we're going to cut each one up. Now it looks like the broccoli and cauliflower mixture is just about done, so we're going to add that to the mixture in the mixing bowl and mix it all up. Now this is one of my favorite parts of the entire operation. We're going to divide the medley into separate to-go containers. We are almost done. And now we're also going to divide these sweet potatoes into the separate to-go containers. And look at that! It's looking beautiful right now! Awesome job! And now we're gonna put the lids on and boom! Ready to go for the whole week! Look at that! See, that was amazing! Great job! See? Cooking can be a lot of fun! And it's a bonus because you're cooking healthy, which is also gonna make you feel better too, which is awesome! But yeah, I will basically use this medley as the base for my entire week, and I will use a different protein every day. So maybe one day I'll make chicken, one day I'll make tuna, one day I'll make eggs, and so forth and so forth. So just to keep things different. But a great job! Go enjoy that! Hey, how you doing? I actually just finished a five mile run. I'm at a mill pond in Burlington, Massachusetts. It's actually really nice out today. Not too sunny, not too hot. Definitely a little bit windy, but I'm starving. So I actually made the sauté vegetable medley. I uh, used that as a base. I actually used chicken as a protein today. It's actually pretty good. I'll show you a little bit. It's good. I used it as a uh, post workout. You can actually use it you know, after running, after hiking. Um, I put it on a cooler with some ice packs. It works good that way. It's definitely a lot better if you warm it up too, but it's not bad cold. So yeah, so I'll use different proteins every day, so I'll make the, the medley as a base. Then I'll do like maybe chicken as a protein, I'll do tuna one day, I'll do turkey another day, I'll do eggs, but I have some chicken on here this time. It's actually really good. See that chicken right there? Mm. That's good too. A little piece of broccoli right there for you. Mm-hmm. And Got some good old sweet potatoes. The skin is awesome too. Gotta love that skin. Whoops! Finally, my hands are cold. So I can't, can't grab onto it as easy as I would like to with these chopsticks. I got some Brussels sprouts. My favorites. But I'll finish this up. I also want you to check out the pond too. Look at that. Is that nice? See? Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna fish up my food. Just want to say thank you so much for watching my video on the saute vegetable medley with soup potato meal prep. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're going to go out there and make this and send me your pictures because I would love to see that. Please subscribe to my channel, which is West Baby Healthy Living, for more videos. Thank you so much again, and I will see you soon.